What? I'm John. Hi, I'm Nicolette. And, and welcome, welcome back, back to another episode, episode of Past TV. No, 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 John, you're fine. Nice. Nicolette, you can't even read right. That's not your name. Idiot. Learn how to read. First of all, we would like to say welcome to the second quarter. Yes, another quarter, another chance at success. Congrats to everyone for doing your best. Yes, we know things have been a lot different, but we're proud of all of you and that you made it through. Okay, okay, whatever. Uh, uh, enough of that stuff. I need to pick me up. And on that note, it's time for none other than... Magic with Mia. We can't hear you. I said magic with Mia! Hey guys, welcome to Magic with Mia. Um, today we have, what's your name? I'm Jeremiah. What, what he said. Anyways, today we're going to be doing a magic. I just ripped the box. But, what the heck? Why is there gum all over these? Okay, I'm just gonna skip to the trick. Okay. First, we're gonna shuffle these, you know. I don't really know how to shuffle, but I'm just gonna just you know, get it all mixed in there like that. Just wait, just wait one second. Okay, no, it doesn't matter. Okay, pick a card, any card. Not the gun, the card! Oh, sorry. This is his card? That is my card. Remember that card, okay? Now I'm going to guess his card. It's the magic giving me a sign. Is this your card? No. Are you sure? Yes. Are you positive? Yes. No, I'm a bit rusty, okay? Another sign. Is this your card? No. This is... This one? No. Is it this one? Finally! Is this one? Yes! Hey, I got it! Guys, thank you for watching! I'm a genius! Uh, come down to see my shows. Is there $20? Hmm. I wonder what was that on her cards. Uh, I'll, I'll have to look into that. Okay, whatever, but uh, do you want to see me do a trick? Um, sure. I bet I can guess uh, the number you're thinking about right now. <laughs> okay. Mm, what number am I thinking of? 10,039. No. But you know what I am thinking of? What are you thinking of? He got it right! No, 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 but, 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 no! He got it right! That's not the number I was yes, thinking of. Yes, it was! Okay, it was. Yeah. Okay. It was! You're right. Okay. Well, it's time for... Sports Plays with Jermaine. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Sports Plays with Jermaine. Highlights from last week are as follows. Monday, October 4th, 
High school volleyball senior night against EC Central was a pretty even match. Played five games but fell short to EC Central. Monday, October 6th, sixth grade volleyball won both games against Lake Station Edison. High school soccer section was at Ileana Christian and Dyer. Hass Hawks fought hard against the Hebron Hawks but came up short with a final score of 0-1. to one. It was a very physical game, lots of shots on goalie Antonio Carranza who made tremendous saves throughout the game. I wonder what that stuff is going around the school. I don't know, but it sounds and looks tasty. Ew. Anyways, John, do you love learning new ways to improve your life? Nah. Anyways, for those of you who do, then- Jordan's life facts are for you. That was my line. Oh, okay. Hello, welcome back to Jordan Life Packs. Today I have an interesting life pack just for you. Have you ever get holes in your socks? We'll have a good solution just for you. So for today we're gonna, what, what is that? Is that gum? Ugh. Oh well. So, since you have a hole in your sock, right? Let's get a black marker and then shade your whole big toe. And presto. Doesn't look like you have a hole in your sock no more. Hmm. I wonder if that works. John? What? Do not take off your shoe in here. Um, okay. John, did you know that it's spooky season? I think you mean spooky. Well, if you have a friend, teacher, or a spooky someone... Then 8th grade is selling spooky grams with prices being... $1 for a mini bag of candy containing 2-3 to three pieces, and $3 for a regular sized bag of candy containing five to seven pieces. Spooky grounds will be delivered on Tuesday, October 26th. You can purchase them in the morning at the front desk. You idiot! It's spooky, not spooky! Can you listen to John for once? <laughs> okay. Spoop, sp spoopy grams will be delivered Tuesday, October 26th. And all the kitty reports. Mr. Bonner, Mr. Bonner, can we interview you? No, no, I'm, I'm teaching class. You guys should know better than this. Go on, get out of here. Too bad. We want to interview you. No, go on. Go on. Go on. Get out of here. First one. One, one variable has to be by itself. The y. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that one. X plus 3Y. Can we interview you? Sure. Okay. What, what are you doing? Can I kick you out of here one of What are you doing? You know better than that. Get out of my room. Go on. Get out of here. Hey John. Yeah. Are you good at acting? Obviously. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We'll see about that. Play that. Be a bird. Tweet tweet. How about a bee? Okay. Now John, that was good acting. But not as good as our Hass Theater. Yep, uh, the play She Kills Monsters will be performed by Hass Theater uh, November 5th, 6th, and the 7th. Ticket sales are to be announced. Yeah, so come out and support Hass Theater. How dare you! What? How dare you question such talent of his! Cut! Cut! Cut it off! Now! Cut it off! Now what's a heavenly crime? I said cut! Welcome to Heavenly Crimes. There is an unknown sticky substance going around around the school. Victims have found it on tables, on walls, even underneath their shoes. Today, I am here with our director, Monse. How are you? Um, how do you feel about this sticky substance going around the school on people and even on you? Okay, first of all, explain to me why I have gum on me. Are you a part of this? No. Then explain to me why everybody has gum in the school. I don't know. 
Well, it, tell me. I don't know. You're not gonna tell me that. We're going to end this right here. Thank you for watching. In other words, gum? I don't know. Well, Eric is here. It's so. about time. Let's see what crazy excuse he has for us this time. Now on to Eric's dream journals. The day I was late, I was chasing by nine or something behind me, chasing me now. I'm in a tumble, I don't know what to do. One of them bit my hand, I don't know what to do now. I'm running, and I don't want to get screamed by Monte again, so I had to go to school very early now, so I'm running very fast right now. <laughs> Are there even temples in Hammond? No. Man, excuses are getting worse and worse every time. At this point, I don't even care. As long as he's here, there's always something with him. Well, I guess this concludes this episode of Past TV. Yes, we have reached the end once again. But tune in next time for, for another, another episode, episode of Past, Past TV. TV. Man, I want some gum. I'll get you some gum.